Hi right, guys, Rob A46 here, working ourselves back to ride 3 on the Xbox One X. Today we're going to be doing 10 laps around Donington Park aboard the Yamaha R1M. So, let's go racing around Donington. 10 laps. Let's see what we can do aboard the Yam. Okay. Here we go. Now that was an okay start. We head down towards turn one, red gate. And we are already up to fifth position. So yeah, very good start. And we are through into third. And now into second, into the old hairpin. Whoops. They're not able to get past the leader at the moment. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh! Not get up the inside, not that. Okay, I've just come off the back of uh, recording some MotoGP 20, so it might take me a few laps just to uh, get back to uh, the feeling of ride three and the, you know, the way that you can change direction quicker. But yeah, we're second as we go into the foggy S's, and we are second place and the leader is a peach list so uh okay right and how many lists do you need for the fruit peaches because uh that's a long number afterwards i'll tell you what we've got a good run out the final corner there we don't get them by the line but can we get them into the turn one yes we can We were wide though and he's back through. So back down to second place for me. Through. Oh, that's not how to take Craner curves. As we drunk up the inside, we are through this time. Give him a little nudge on the way through, but uh, we are leading now. Through McLean's. This is where we used to sit when we used to go to Donington. Oh, that's a bit wide through coppice and we have lost the lead again or have we no we haven't managed to uh he, he was fast in slow out i was slow in fast out and now we go down to the chicane again and he's through nothing i could really do on the exit there it wasn't the best of runs for the chicane for me that time oh the rear was spinning up slightly there. Down into the final corner. And run to the line. So again, we're not going to get by the line. In fact, we're not even close enough to have a go into turn one. So that is not going to happen. We do close right in through red gate though. And up the inside into the old hairpin, and that is the lead again. We are very strong into the old hairpin. The AI have been weak into uh, the old hairpin. They were weak into that in ride two, and they're pretty weak in ride three as well. So it is a good overtaking opportunity. Make up loads of time through there as well. Again, a bit wide through coppice, and again he is back through. We've got a slightly better exit, but we're not able to get any slightly later on the brakes into the chicane. So, staying in second place, we've got a slightly better run out. And down towards the Melbourne hairpin, but he was a bit later on the brakes again. And again, we get a slightly better exit out, but he's a little bit better on the brakes into Goddard's. The AI are pretty good on the, the brakes into Goddard's. They're a bit slow on the way out, which is why we haven't got past him yet. There we go. But he blocked me off into a red gate there, so not able to get him that time. Can't get him out on the exit either through Hollywood, which is where Andrew Irwin and uh, Josh Brooks had that coming together in the final race for BSB at the weekend. So 
So we are leading again as we go through Swans and McLean's. And again, we're a little bit wide through McLean's, but we hang on to the lead. Can we keep a tight line through Coppice this time? Yeah. We're just stepping out slightly there. But we lead. Down to Foggy Asses again. Oh, he's through again. And yeah, again we get a slightly better exit. But not enough to get him into the hairpin. So we come to the end of lap four. Still in second place. This guy has given us a bit of a battle. So we go very wide through Goddard's. So, going to finish lap four in second place. Point two behind. I'll tell you what, third place and fourth place aren't really too far behind. Okay, well, we'll try and get him into the old hairpin again because that is uh, definitely a favourite overtaking place for me. And we have succeeded in regaining the lead again. We just need to make sure we don't go wide through Coppice again because uh, that is definitely a place where he's a bit, bit stronger. We were much better through McLean's that time. We didn't go too wide through Coppice. That was okay. But we're still leading. We're still leading. I don't know if he's close enough to have a go into the chicane. I don't think he is. Certainly not. We still lead. Now I know he's good into the final corner. So we will have to go careful into Goddard's. But uh, I'll have to wait and see. Oh no, he's got me out of the hairpin. Okay, wasn't expecting that was not expecting that. I was expecting him to have a go into Goddard's, but uh, no. He uh, got me before that. Surprise attack by him. Okay, on to lap six. We are still in second place. Around the outside through Redgate is not going to work. Well, you know where I'm going to get him. Into the old hairpin. In fact, we've got him before. We got him before. Had a good run through Craner Curves. Need to try and break away from him because if he's close enough, he will have a go into, well, Coppice and also the Chicane as well. So we have to go careful. Oh, wide again. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, we got a better exit. We're back into the lead. He was not expecting that. Can he get me into the chicane? I was a bit wide into the chicane anyway. So yeah, you did get back through. Got a slightly better exit, but not enough to do anything about it. Third place is catching. Third place is uh, closing in. End of lap six. Still in second place. Through Goddard's. Oh, we got a much better run out. And we do get him by the line as well. So, uh, yeah, if we can get a good run through the final corner, then that is somewhere that we can uh, take the win. He didn't bother me through turn one, although I just uh, momentarily went on the grass through Hollywood, and he is through. And we'll get him back into the old hairpin. Yes, we do. A little bit too hot into there, actually. Has he come back past? No, he's not. Okay. A bit wide again through McLean's as we go up towards Coppice. Try and stay tight this time. That's much better. Oh, slide in a little bit. And into the chicane. He's not close enough this time. No! Give me a little tap there. But uh, we stayed on and we stayed in the lead. And third position has really closed in as we go into the hairpin. Is he going to do another surprise attack? No, he's not. Okay. And I don't think he's close enough to get me into Goddard's either. 
Well, there we go. End of lap seven. We lead. This is the longest we've led for uh, the whole race. So we go down towards turn one. A little bit wide. Lap eight. Let's see if we can break away now. Can third and fourth get on par with him and start battling? I'm not sure. I'm just going to try and escape. 0.6 we got over him at the moment. Two and a half laps to go. Now is the perfect time to break away. Yeah, he's nowhere near close enough to have a lunge into the foggy S's. So don't need to worry into here. Can we beat our best lap time so far? No surprise attack either because he wasn't close enough. He has closed back in a little bit though. See what the gap is over the line. Okay. Two laps to go. That gap has really come down. It's only half a second. And it was not my fastest lap of the race. Let's see if we can make this one the fastest lap then. Alright, come on. Come on. No, we are half a second off our best time. We've got half a second lead. Oh, slide in, slide in, big slide, big slide. Oh, we are going a little bit quicker now. We've got 0.6 over him. Through the hairpin. Come on. We've got one lap to go. Is this going to be our fastest lap of the race? Let's see as we run to the line. No, we were just off, but we got 0.8 now. Right, let's really try and uh, get a good lap time on this final one. Let's just push as much as we can. Oh, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. Not a good start to this lap. And wide through the old hairpin. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a quick lap. We are just off at the moment, but we've got 1.2 second lead. See what the next split says, but I don't think this is going to be a fastest lap. But we are really pulling away from him now. Okay. Oh, three quarters of a second under. That's good. That is very good. So this may well be our best lap of the race. It's uh, The second half has definitely felt a lot better than the first half. Oh, wide through Goddard's. Almost lost the rear coming out as well. Run to the line. 21.9. Yeah, 21.9. Our fastest lap of the race was on the final lap. So there we go. Good race that. I'll tell you what. 12th position had the fastest lap of the race altogether of a 119. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe and wash your hands. See you.